Oh, I do like that Master Thief perk. That is pretty good. We can go into anything, look, anything we want. But where's, um, where's this guy at? Maybe he's at the pub. We could try the pub. Where the hell is the pub in this place? It all went wrong. There isn't an inn in this place, is there? There's nowhere to sleep then. I was just going to pass the time, but... It all went horrendously wrong when I handed that damn quest in for that cross. That's when it went wrong. And it warped me all the way back to uh, Ledechko. Okay, let's get the horse. Let's go and, let's go and see Sir Radzig and see what happens next. Still need to get to... Still need to get... No, I'm done at Talmberg. I am done there at least. Right, let's go. Yeah. You should accidentally kill Straw. Always an option. Always an option. Ah. Once again, I come to grief on a fence. I'm not hitting that at a very good angle, am I? Just, just get out, Henry. Come on. <laughs> Set fire to this hay. If only you could. Yeah. Murridge is a bit of a shithole. I think you're absolutely right, Shockerek. I think I've had enough of that place. Let's go and see. There's supposed to be a watchtower up here that I don't remember ever visiting, so let's go and see what this is all about. It all went wrong when the humans killed the Dragon King and his egg. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there a watchtower up here? Well, it looks like there's a little path going somewhere. Let's follow this. This is a. This isn't a watchtower. This is just a camp. Well, there's Sir Radzig. Let's go and talk to him before he goes to sleep for the night. That way he's just leaning on a post. As if, as if to say, what shit have you been doing now, Henry? Let's find the out. Lord be praised. What brings you to me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Events. Let's talk about Return events. From Mephoy, yet, sir. How does it look there? Hmm. I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Oh. At least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Um. <laughs> well. Uh, he survived some of it. Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. You haven't hmm. disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. Boy, you're doing good. Beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Hey, Zedim. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it, Henry. Did you enjoy your holiday? <laughs> what is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. 
But long ago, I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. Ain't it just? The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? Sasso? You can rely on me, sir. I'm going to Sasso? That's news. Good luck, son. Pardon? Pardon? Is that a spoiler? Or just a friendly term of phrase? Hmm. Bit of a beefy body for such a small neck on our Henry. Don't forget, Henry is wearing about six layers of armour. <laughs> um, there was something else. I don't think I told you about the letter. Oh. Maybe I don't need to. May I be of service, my lord? You got something else for me? Yes, Henry. Oh. Chief Engineer Faifa has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalettes? In a manner of speaking. Master Faifa has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scalettes mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Faifa. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Hmm, okay. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? No, that's a castle? good question. Here? He went to Sasau to deal with something there. Most likely at the inn. Well, thank you. I'll ah, you that's away. why you're saying that cutscene go to Sasau. Good luck to you. That makes sense. Didn't they have something like the Lord's first turn on the wedding night? I've heard about that, mainly through Braveheart. Um, I don't know how true it was or whether it was... Uh, Rigorously enforced. Who were uh, misses? Is this actually a, a watchtower here? Is it just a camp? Because if there is a watchtower here, it'd be shame to disappear without seeing it. This is just a camp, isn't it? There's nothing here. Right, so. You should have read what Henry's father, the blacksmith, said to Henry. That was a spoiler, also. I don't remember that. I will point out that I do know the ending of this game and the end of the story just because I've watched it on another stream, but I don't want to give anything away uh, to those of you who maybe haven't come across that yet. Uh, okay, so where the hell is... Ro right, Rovner's up there. And Sasau to go and see the inn is down there. I guess I'm going this way then. Can I sleep anywhere? I can't sleep here. I think I should probably go straight there because I have a horrible feeling. It sounded like, oh my god, is this the world's worst, longest flipping route around? Yep, yeah. Henry, you set your sat-nav wrong. You should have said it to shortest route, not quickest route. Good lord. I just hate it when that happens. Oh, he's got there anyway, safely as well. Yeah, I, I've sneaking suspicion this might be a time-sensitive one. That there's a guy waiting here. And there's a camp up there. Turns out this might be a horrendous fight that is going to get me butchered. But there is only one way to find out. So, right, where do I go? I can follow this road past the house, past the church. Should be a path up here somewhere. This is. This might be it. House and then turn right if we can. Ah, ah, aha. Oh my god, we're going to be in the darkness again. When he was still asleep at the start of the game, instead of helping. All oh, right, way back then. Hmm. Are you, you're going to go and look up the uh, the secrets, are you, are you on the internet? It's, um, well, I will say, without giving away any spoilers. It totally opens up the door for sequels, prequels, stories about other characters. Um, it could be a lot. Why is there a lot of dead people here? 
Good God, what a bloody mess. Hang on. Explore the crossroads by Rovna. A guard? What's he got on him? I'll take his groshen. He doesn't need that. We're going to open that chest in a minute. Well, we explored it. Oh, I examined the blood. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. I'd say that's a pretty severe wound. It looks like blood. Doesn't it? Right. Before we go anywhere, I am picking that. It looks like that wagon was loaded with charcoal. Okay. Take his groschen. Anything to examine? Can I examine the wagon itself? This one won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, because it's broken. Let's see what's in here then. It's, uh, it's just like a chest dumped at the back. All right, what's in it? Anything really worth taking? Just some clothes and some swords. I can understand why it would be left. Hmm. This is valuable. They must have been in a hurry or they'd never have left it behind. Yes, doesn't make sense. I wouldn't normally leave it behind. Fact. He did say it was valuable. Yeah. <laughs> Old habits. Old habits die hard. Let's get rid of all that stuff. Straight onto the horse. Fancy shirt. Nobleman's hose. Henry, you've got a nice little... Nice little upgrade there. Right, I've examined that one. It looks like blood. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Okay. So, aha, here's some more. This way. This could be... Hang on, charcoal. I didn't... Well, okay. I, I was going to examine it. I didn't mean to pick it up. Hmm. Someone should definitely shave more carefully. That's clearly what it is, a shaving accident. I'm on the right track. What I want to know is, right, how did we get that really bloody footprints, but then a gap for like 20 metres or something? This could be the world's best triple jumper carrying this body off down here. This way. I'm gonna stump. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. I think this might be a good time to put the bloody torch out, Henry. Oh, it might just be a. It might just be a uh, charcoal burners camp. What's this? Blood. If I turn the torch off, I'm not going to be able to see crap. It looks like mm, charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. Hmm. You discovered a charcoal kiln. More blood. This way. Goes up there. I storm into here and wake this guy up. Nope. I have, I have a feeling I'm going to be pounced on by an ambush at any point. Have we lost the trail? No. We certainly have not. I'm on the right track. Um, maybe I should go and talk to these people though. What's in there? It's just so easy now to steal everything. Yeah, well, I mean, if they won't wake up to talk to me, they deserve everything they get. This way. Oh, I just missed something there. Faint. Blood. We'll still be going this way then. More charcoal. Blood on the bridge. Another clue. 
I must be going the right way. Well, we're going. I can see another light in the distance. It looks like blood. This way. This guy should have bled to death by now. Blood. Hmm. The moment I put this torch out, I will be blind as a bat. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Hey, Hyperdimensions Bliss. Uh, how are you? My Monday's gone pretty well, thanks. Oh, found something. It looks like We're on the trail of some injured counterfeiter, I think, at the moment. Something's going on here. Well, hang on. Wow, poor old Henry's starving. I'll just eat some free food, actually. Does that help? That's topped it up. He's ready for a sleep as well. Well, we can certainly lockpick this while we're here. <laughs> Your cat's bothering you. Don't they all do that? They all demand attention. Take the groshen. I don't need the rest of this crap. What about in there? Is there someone to talk to? Because the mercenary. Who are you? He looks knackered. Um. Talk and you'll live. Never mind that. I've come to help you. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, uh, well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. He's managed to stagger a long way and find himself a house. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Hmm. Managed to stagger a long way past all those other charcoal uh, huts. Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. Really? Where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating and then I passed out. One knight did all that? And knocked the wheel off the wagon. Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked Menhart that. <coughs> Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Mm. That's a deep wound to the flank and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. Henry should be able to. He's quite skilled in the arts of medicine. An incredibly big knight, it could be. Tell me more oh. about the knight. Oh. Oh. Where's the coin? Oh, that's... what coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. I Gah! Dumped. Where are <laughs> those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks. Behind the shed. Where did he come from? That's him. That's got to be that knight. Get him, Henry. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh -uh. This guy's got a proper German accent, at least. Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! Fight! Are we going to talk? Or are we going to? Oi! Oi! Get him! Get him, get on the horse. Which way did he go? Bollocks, I don't even know which way he went. It wasn't... Was it this way? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hang on, there he is. No, no, that's the camp in front. Okay, I have no idea. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as he goes back to the Sasau Inn. <laughs> I don't think I was meant to catch him there. I've got to go back to the inn then. I'm going to go back and speak to me, mur uh, me murdered, me mercenary who was nearly murdered. And um, 
I wandered off the track a bit here. Was it down there? Yeah, it was down there. This game has some interesting twists to come. There's also some interesting characters to come because people say that Brian Blessed's in it and I haven't met him in the game yet. So I'm quite looking forward to that as well. Do you know, I bet I run off down the wrong track there because as soon as I turned round to get on my horse, yeah, I bet he went off down this one. Yeah, I totally lost my orientation there. Easy done in the, in the dark. I wonder if I'd been here in daylight if it would have been easier. Anyway, is this guy dead now? Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. There is um, somewhere I can sleep back there. Or should I just go straight to the inn? Part of me thinks just go straight to the inn at Sasau. Need the sleep. Um, I can't get there before him anyway. Hmm. Looks like the monastery quest is part of the main quest line. Oh, that's good to know. I was wondering how that was going to fit in. Is this a... That's where I just come from. Right, so there is, just back here. There is an empty hut that I can sleep in. This game takes place in Bohemia. It does indeed. Have I just run off the track again? Just knock... Did I just... No, I knocked that hair over. That's what that boar perk does. I can charge into people in my heavy armour and it does damage to them. So, yeah, when someone saw me charging at a bandit earlier, that was the reason. So this one was empty, right? Currently empty. Oh, hang on. This isn't going to save the game because it's not my bed. In that case, then. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to sleep while daylight. I'll get some energy back. And that should hopefully be enough to get me through another day. And then we'll, you know, the kingdom come home of Olympic rabbit bowling. That would be awesome. The rabbit punt. That's another event. You improved stealth. I must be reading that stealth book. Right, come on then, Henry. Let's get out of here. Is there another pot of food? There it is. Whoops, slightly over... Slightly overestimated how much I needed to eat. Should have just had a drink of fine wine. Put the torch away, Henry. Right, so, get on the horse. And travel. To Sasau, I think. We'll go to the monastery. Not let me. There we go, that one. That one. Go. So we're going to go and find this guy at the inn down there. See what happens. At least it wasn't the killer rabbit from the Holy Grail. There could have been curtains for poor old Henry. No interesting. Oh, hang on. We're going through the woods. There's usually a fight in the woods. Not this time. No, a very uneventful fast travel. No riddles, no merchants, no... Butchers. Alright, let's go and see if I can find that guy at the inn down here. Yeah. I don't think I've got anything else I need to do around here. That's a lie, actually. That is a complete nuss a lie. Because I had to go to Sasau to see somebody else. Let's see what we've got on. We've got the King's Silver. Talk to the Chief Engineer. Um, Sorry, where? Where? Oh, in Ratai, okay. We don't need that marking just yet. We need a green-eyed monster. I could actually... Oh, he's just there. I could go and talk to the guy and get the quest. I might do that while I'm here. And there's, there's also the Vengeance one, which we're kind of working on. And all that glisters down in the inn. So, there should be... Hang on a sec, where the hell have I turned around to? Is there a guy in this field? Where's this one? He's just over there. I'm going to pick up that quest, the one to go and burn a house down. Let's have a look. 
Come on, then. I can be of help to you, Knight. Let's have this quest. What was it you wanted from me, exactly? I want you to help me get my own back on the draper who stole my girl. Yeah. He'll steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy. And he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it, I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. It's a bit grim, is this one. I didn't like it, but I'm going to do it. The angel is at your service. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Take care. It's kind of good um, just practice for, for pickpocketing and stuff anyway. Sorry, did I mention a, a monster pan? Uh, where do I have to go for this one then? Steal the Sassau Draper's tinderbox. I have stolen so much from that guy. Anyway, first job. In. Hang on. Wash. In. Night. Let's do that. Let's sort out from there. I need to do a quick vault over this wall. Up. Is that him? Is that him? Nope. Just an innkeeper. Glad you came. Have you had a night staying here? Save you good can I ask him? What can I do for you? That would be handy if I could. No. Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Nothing I've heard about. No. Okay. God be with you. Right, is he in here? Whoa, we're on the job. We're on the job. Who's that? Townsman? 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 Fresco Master? What the hell is he? Greetings, Henry. Hail housemaid, have you seen a knight here? I'm just going to ask, just in case... I've kind of come to learn that uh, some of these people do actually have interesting treasure maps and stuff for sale, but uh, not here. Right, so, could this guy be staying in a room somewhere? Let's go find out. In the cellar, perhaps. He's not. Maybe I'm supposed to come back here in a night. He must smell bad running in that armour. Probably. It'd be hard work. I think everyone smells bad in the Middle Ages. Well, there's certainly no knights sleeping in this hotel. So, let's see. Lie in wait. I think I've just got to go and sit in there and wait for him, but... He's not going to come back in daylight, is he? Oh, hang on. Right. Sit. Oh, Henry. Sit opposite the guy. Ulrich. Hmm. I'm happy to see you again, sir. Hmm. Likewise. No doubt you have many questions. I certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. Hmm. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pound after sunset. Ooh. You'll find me waiting like by the big willow tree. I'll like bet you say that to all the young boys. Uh, okay. I'll be there. I will expect you. I'm trusting this guy. I'm trusting him. He could just do a runner. It'd be very clever, wouldn't it? We will meet after dark at the big willow tree. And then spend the whole day running in the opposite direction. The kind of thing I would do. 